Have you seen a crossroad where the traffics are being controlled by the traffic signal? What happens there? They select one lane from the crossroad, leaving the other lanes blocked so that they can pass the traffic. Same thing happens with every lanes of that crossroad until the traffic clears out. Here in digital electronics, we will be learning something like that. So, hello and welcome to Easy Classroom. But today, we will be learning multiplexer circuits. So, what is multiplexer circuit? It is a combinational circuit which accepts many input as the crossroad accepts many input from different directions and it will select one input from those several inputs and direct that to the output channel as the crossroad does or as the traffic light does. So the traffic light here is the selection procedure. In here, how we will select? We will select with some inputs which are specially designed and specially equipped to select these kind of things. And so here we have select inputs. These inputs will actually select which input from the several inputs to actually choose from and to deliver to the output channel. So let us consider the key points of this multiplexer circuit. As we have already seen, it acts as a data selector. It is nothing but the selection of that uh, input from several inputs. It reduces the circuit complexity as we have already known. The circuit complexity can be very much reduced. Reduces the output channel. As we don't have to use several output channels, that is n number of channels for n number of input channels. We need to have only one output channel for n number of input channels. So what are the areas that multiplexer can be used? So this, this mainly uses in computer memory and communication technology. So how many types are there? There are, there are many types, but we will be considering these four. That is two is two, one, four is two, one, eight is two, one, and 16 is two, one, okay? So one thing that you may ask, how many number of selection lines that we need to use for the n number of inputs? So here is a thing. That is, the, this, is this is the formula. So if you consider there are n four number of inputs and in input channels, so the number of uh, selection lines will be is 2 to the power 2, 4 we can represent as 2 to the power 2 equal to 2 to the power m. So we will left with m equals 2. So we need two selection inputs. So if we consider the block diagram of this multiplexer circuit, what we see, we see there are n number of inputs and then there are n number of selection inputs which are special inputs and we see there is a E. So what is E? E is a signal which will enable our multiplexer circuit to work. If E is 0, so the circuit will not produce any output and the circuit will be shut down. So if E is 1, then the circuit will produce outputs according to, according to the selection inputs. So this is n is to 1 marks. So here we have 2 is to 1 marks. Now what is 2 is to 1 marks? There is two, there are two inputs. There is a selection, there is a selection line and there is an another signal. So if these things works perfectly, we will get this output. So how this circuit works, let us understand this first to get actually what is happening inside it. So when E is 0, the circuit will not produce anything. So when E is 1, this single S0 or what we say AS, whatever thing may be, it could have two values. So in two values, it will produce I0 as output and I1 as output in different values. So the expression could be like, like the, the expression that we get is nothing but this one as how so E is here as 0 bar and I0 plus E as 0 I1. So if we take E as common as 0 bar I0 plus as 0 I1. So this is the entire logic. Now, 
So as we all know that there is not much to calculate but to select which of the inputs from the several inputs can be applied or can be directed towards the output signal. This is the entire motto of this kind of circuits. So let us see how this actually works in circuits. Then, then only we can get this actual expression out of it. So let us consider this circuit which is 2 is to 1 mux circuit. The same circuit, the same thing is here also drawn in circuits, right? So what we are giving here in the first AND gate, we are actually giving I0, E and S0 bar, okay? And here what we are giving for this I1, S0 and E. E is already there. So if E is 1, the circuit will work and so E is off, circuit will not work, okay? So for, for this, for S equals S0 equals 0. So when S0 equals 0, so S0 is here 0, E is 1. So S0 bar equals 1. So the fine the, the, the actual for for D1, so for, for this circuit, for this AND gate, what will happen? It will happen E dot S0 bar dot this I0. So what will happen? The so actual thing is E is 1, S0 is 1, I0. So the output from this will be I0. Okay? From the output from this will be the I0. So what will happen on this AND gate? So we have we are giving E is 1, S0 is 0, S0 bar is 1, and, and for D2 what will happen we are left with since here s0 is connected to this circuit so we will do like this and i1 so 1 0 and i1 so whatever we and with 0 it will produce 0 so this and gate will produce 0 so final output would be we are and we are writing this also i0 plus 0 equals I0. Here also I0 plus 0 equals I0. So we see this I0 will be passed over this output circuit if A0 is 0. So the select input has a lot of work to do in order to filter which input to pass through this circuit. So if we consider now this S0 is 1. So now what happens? So now here S0 is so S0 is 1 is 0 1 0 so what would be the final output? So when S0 is 1, we for this circuit, we are getting E, S0 bar and I0. So what will happen? Here it will be 1. This is 0. Mind it, S0 is 1 and S0 bar will be 0 and I0. So whatever we are ending with 0, it will be 0. So for this, for S0 equals 1, we are getting 0 over this circuit and from this circuit, so we are getting 1, 1 and I1. So output will be I1. So for this circuit, we are getting I1. So now see, the final output would be some kind of this 0 plus I1 equals I1 and here also 0 plus I1 equals I1. So this S0 is actually selecting which of the inputs will be selected or directed towards the output circuit. So when S0 is 0, our output is nothing but I0 and when S0 is 1, we have nothing but I1. So in this way, this circuit can be easily determined. Now, if we say how this thing actually arrives over here, so here also we have something. 
so now consider this inputs inputs are so from this circuit what we have learned the s0 is 0 then this this and gate will work and other will stop down so this i0 will actually work that means so this here when s0 is 0 so here s0 is 0 we will get the output as i0 so the i0 output would be this is i0 okay so if s uh, s0 is 1 we will be having i1 as output so here s0 is 1 so we are having this is and uh, this as output okay so 0 0 1 1 now we will consider this 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 and this last one so what is this this is s0 bar i1 bar i0 So this is the final output so if we so now here what we have not drawn is the e column so so the circuit will actually work when e is one so by default the e is one that we have to keep in mind so if we consider these two what we can get common out of it we can get these two as common so s0 bar i0 what we are left with i1 i1 bar and from this s0 i1 what we are left with i0 bar plus i0 so actually what we are getting this is what we are actually getting this is the same thing this is the same thing this is the same thing that we are actually getting over here and this is the same thing that we are actually getting from this also. So this is how our circuit actually performs and chooses which input to select and what would be our output. In every case in 2, two, two is to 1 we have drawn, in n is to 1 this will actually be followed and this is how our multiplexer actually going to work in parallel to serial conversion this circuit can also be used since this the parallel parallel systems will be summed up into a serial systems so this can also be worked with so this is how the, our system actually works so if you've learned anything new from this session please do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you